In this video, I will talk about the operation of an operational amplifier monostable multivibrator circuit. At first, let me talk about monostable multivibrator. A monostable multivibrator has one stable and one quasi-stable state. Here, the stable state. That means our output voltage VO will stay at that level forever. Okay. if we don't apply any external triggering pulse and quasi-stable or unstable state quasi-stable or unstable state that means our output voltage will have a transition from its stable state to this unstable state and VO will stay at that level for a brief interval of time Output voltage will remain at that stable state unless an external triggering pulse causes a transition to quasi-stable state. After, in case of this monostable multivibrator, after a certain time t, our output voltage will return to its stable state. And in this monostable multivibrator, we will use only a single triggering pulse. Therefore, I can say it generates a single output pulse in response of a single triggering pulse. Therefore, the monostable multivibrator is sometimes called as one shot or single shot multivibrator. Now, let's say this is a monostable multivibrator circuit and the output of this monostable multivibrator is stable at this plus V set level. Now, it will stay at this level unless we apply any triggering pulse. Let's say at this instant I have applied a negative triggering pulse. Now our output voltage will have a transition from this plus V set level to minus V set level. As this is a quasi-stable or unstable state, it will stay at this level or the output voltage will stay at this level for a brief interval of time. After that we will have a another transition in the output voltage from this unstable state to its plus V set or its stable state and it will stay at this level forever if I don't apply any external triggering pulse. Okay, see using a single triggering pulse I have generated only a one pulse voltage. That's why this is known as one shot or single shot multivibrator. This is the circuit structure of our operational amplifier monostable multivibrator circuit. In this circuit, you will see that the output terminal will be connected with the inverting terminal through this feedback resistor R and this output terminal is connected with the non-inverting terminal with the feedback resistor R1. So with this kind of configuration, our operational amplifier is forced to operate in the saturation region. That means our output voltage VO will be either plus V set or minus V set positive saturation voltage or negative saturation voltage see the portion of output voltage that will be stored in this capacitor will be known as our Vn and the portion of this output voltage that will be dropped across this non inverting terminal to ground terminal that means that will be dropped across this R2 will be our Vp now when the Vp will be greater than Vn our output voltage will be plus V set and when the VP will be less than VN, our output voltage will be minus V set. Now, this output voltage will have two feedback loop. One is at this inverting terminal and another is at this non-inverting terminal. If I draw them separately, I will get a circuit like this. You see that if this is our output terminal, at first this output terminal will be connected with the non-inverting terminal with a feedback resistor R1. and that resistor will be connected in series with the resistor R2 therefore this output voltage will form a voltage divider network through this R1 and R2 and the voltage that will be dropped across this non inverting terminal to ground terminal will be our non inverting voltage VP VP will be equal to R2 divided by R1 plus R2 into VO Okay, and if this is our output terminal and this is our inverting terminal, we will get a feedback loop. This is our output terminal. Output terminal will be connected with the inverting terminal through the feedback resistor R and this inverting terminal will connect it to ground terminal 
through a parallel network of a capacitor C1 and diode D1. Okay, as the output voltage will be at plus V set or minus V set, let's say when the output voltage will be plus V set, this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative. Therefore, this terminal of this output voltage will be connected with the P side of the diode D1 and this negative terminal of this V set will be connected with the inside of the diode D1. That means when our output voltage will be plus V set, our D1 will be in forward bias. Therefore, diode D1 will be replaced by short circuit. When the diode will be replaced by a short circuit, the Vn inverting terminal voltage will be equal to zero and when the output voltage will be equal to minus V set this terminal will be negative and this terminal will be positive okay and this negative terminal will be connected with the in with the P side of the diode and this positive terminal of this output voltage is connected with the inside of the diode that means when our output voltage Vo will be equal to minus V set our our diode D1 will be reverse bias as the diode D1 will be reverse bias I will replace the diode D1 with an open circuit so when the diode D1 will be replaced by open circuit the capacitor C will try to store the negative saturation voltage across this terminal to this terminal that means when the output voltage will be minus V set the voltage at this inverting terminal will be negative let's say initially the capacitor C1 is uncharged when C1 will be in un when C1 will be uncharged, the voltage at this inverting terminal Vn will be equal to zero because the charge at this capacitor is zero. Therefore, voltage across this capacitor will be zero. Okay. Now let's say I have supplied this plus Vs and this minus Vs voltage source to this operational amplifier. Due to manufacturing error, our operational amplifier will show a small amount of output offset voltage at the output to ground terminal the out value of this output offset voltage is very small if let's say this VOOT or output offset voltage is a positive quantity you see that some portion of this VOOT will be applied at this non-inverting to ground terminal through the feedback feedback network output terminal non-inverting terminal to this ground terminal therefore at that instant our VP will be equal to R2 divided by R1 plus R2 into VOOT as this VOOT is positive therefore our VP will be a positive and will have a small finite value as this VP is positive uh, therefore VP will be greater than Vn therefore our differential input voltage Vd VP minus Vn will be positive as the capacitor C1 is uncharged initially therefore it will act like a short circuit because the voltage across this capacitor is zero and in and in any short circuit we will we, we get a voltage drop of zero volt therefore the operational amplifier will have a very high gain so when that high gain of the operational amplifier will be multiplied with this positive differential input our output voltage will be plus V set so our output voltage is plus V set as long as our output voltage will be plus V set you will see that the voltage at this non inverting terminal VP will be equal to R2 divided by R1 plus R2 into plus V set and this VP will be a positive quantity when this output voltage will be positive you will see that the positive terminal of this output voltage is connected with the P side of the diode D1 and the negative terminal is connected with the inside of the diode D1 that means our diode D1 will be in forward bias so when this diode D1 will be in forward bias I can replace it with a short circuit so if I replace the diode D1 with a short circuit you will see that the voltage difference between this terminal or this terminal or the voltage across this capacitor will be zero that means when our output voltage will be plus V set our inverting terminal voltage Vn will be equal to zero as the as long as the VP will be greater than Vn our voltage output 
our output voltage will be fixed at this plus V set level and this plus V set level is its stable state because if I don't apply any external triggering pulse the output of this operational amplifier will be fixed at this plus V set level that, that is why this is called its stable state <coughs> Now let's say when this output voltage is equal to plus V set. When this output voltage is plus V set, at this instant I have applied a negative triggering pulse. See, this is the negative triggering pulse at this terminal. Negative triggering pulse. That means this terminal will be negative and this terminal will be positive. So when I will apply this negative triggering pulse, this terminal of this capacitor will be negative and this ground terminal will be positive with respect to this terminal therefore this positive terminal will be connected with the P side of the diode D2 and this negative terminal will be connected with the N side of the diode D2 that means only for negative triggering pulse the diode D2 will pass that voltage to this non inverting terminal see this is a negative triggering pulse now the magnitude of this negative triggering pulse should be greater than this R2 divided by R1 plus R2 into plus V set voltage which is a positive quantity that means I can say that if I apply this negative triggering pulse this terminal voltage will be negative as during positive saturation voltage this inverting terminal voltage was zero and due to the application of this negative triggering pulse this non inverting terminal voltage is now negative therefore our differential input voltage VD will be equal to VP minus VN VP is a negative quantity and VN equal to zero therefore our differential input voltage will be negative due to this negative differential input voltage due to the with this negative differential input voltage due to the high gain of the operational amplifier our output voltage will go through negative saturation therefore our output voltage will now have a transition from plus V set to minus V set see here at this point our output voltage has a transition from plus V set to minus V set okay so when this output voltage will be minus V set so when output voltage will be minus V set our VP will be equal to R2 divided by R1 plus R2 into minus V set that means this VP will be a negative quantity so when our output voltage will be minus V set that means this terminal will be negative and this terminal will be positive you will see that this negative terminal of this output voltage will be connected with the with the P side of the diode and this positive terminal will be connected with the N side of the diode that means the diode D1 now will be in reverse bias so when the diode D1 will be in reverse bias I can replace the diode D1 with an open circuit see here I have removed the branch that is containing the diode D1 okay so when the diode d1 will be replaced by open circuit the capacitor c1 will now get charged through this way our charging current through this way our charging current will follow this path up to this negative terminal this terminal of the capacitor will be positive and this terminal of the capacitor will be negative that means with respect to our ground terminal our Vn will be more negative as the capacitor gets charged therefore as the charging and discharging of the capacitor is a exponential quantity that means this Vn will follow away from like this okay that means we as the capacitor gets charged this Vn will be more negative which I can which I can show here as the capacitors this capacitor C gets charged therefore our Vn will be more negative and when this Vn will be more negative than this negative Vp what I want to say is that negative Vn will be more negative than our 
negative Vp during this minus V side voltage that will drive the differential input voltage Vd equal to Vp minus Vn although this Vp and Vn both are negative quantity but the magnitude of this negative quantity is greater than this Vp therefore our differential input voltage will be positive and due to the high gain of the operational amplifier this differential this positive differential input voltage will again drive the operational amplifier in positive saturation voltage after a certain time interval t and for that i we don't have to apply any external triggering pulse okay see here at this point our output voltage have a transition from this minus v side to plus v side level and that means i can say that at this point or at this instant our minus Vn becomes more negative that means Vn becomes more negative than our negative Vp therefore this Vd is positive and our output voltage will have a transition at this plus V set level without e applying any external triggering pulse and this transition is spontaneous based on the charging of this capacitor C1 see this monostable multivibrator has stored its previous state after a certain interval and the and this plus V set is the stable state and this is the only stable state of this multi vibrator circuit that's why this is called mono stable and you see that I have generated a negative pulse by applying a single triggering pulse at this C2 terminal therefore it is known as one shot multi vibrator or single shot multi vibrator that's it thank you